I have the Pixel 9 Pro XL here from Google. And in today's video, I want to show you three different ways that you can deep load your device so that you don't have a bunch of pre-installed apps laying around that you don't use. And toward the end of this video, I'll even include a list of safe apps that you can uninstall and remove from all Google Pixel hardware. I do understand that bloatware can be different from person to person, so please use the comment section down below to share which apps you found pre-installed on your phone, but you have never used them and don't plan to use them in the future. That way I can get an idea as to how I can handle these types of videos in the future. A popular app that I see mentioned in threads like this is for Google Wallet. Not everyone likes to pay for things with their smartphone. So for many of us, we don't need this app on our device at all. So thankfully we can uninstall this from Pixel phones. And we do that by long pressing on the app icon itself, tapping on app info, and then you should see an uninstall button up here toward the top. And we can just get rid of apps like this completely. On the other hand, there are going to be some apps that do not have that uninstall button, like we see with the recorder app here. Instead, you're going to notice that there is a disable button in place. So in cases like this, when you have zero interest in using the Google Recorder application, you should disable the app and all other apps that you have zero interest in using that can be found within your application drawer. Any app that you see in the app drawer that cannot be uninstalled normally should be safe to be disabled in this way. Just be aware that Disabling the Google Play Store will mean that you cannot install apps from that store. And disabling the Google app could prevent some other features, like the search widget, for example, from working properly. But disabling apps in this way should not cause any boot loops, as long as you're just messing with apps that you can see in the app drawer. The last method that I want to show you here today to remove and uninstall bloatware apps from Google Pixel 9 series phones is the Shizuku Kanta Combo. Neither of these require root access, but the setup process may seem daunting for the first time that you're looking into it. So if you're not familiar with how to get Shizuku set up, and if you're not familiar with how to install Kanta, I'll be sure to have dedicated guides linked down below in the video description below. And I'll also have those linked in the pinned comment so that they're easy for everyone to find. I also have some videos here on the channel that shows you how to set up USB debugging mode so that you can delete these pre-installed apps with a simple ADB command. Not everyone has access to a desktop or a laptop PC though, and fewer people are actually okay with executing commands via the command line interface. So that's why I've been recommending the Shizuku Kanta combination. Once you have the Shizuku service up and running, we open up the Kanta application, and then again, we begin going through this list and removing apps that we do not need. However, most people are going to want to tap on this filter button up here and then choose recommended from this list. You can see there are advanced lists, expert lists, and unsafe lists, but the recommended one, while not perfect, does gather up a lot of the bloatware that you will want to remove. However, I still recommend you go through these one at a time because again, 
we all have different definitions of what is considered bloatware and what is considered useful. You can see Android Auto is listed in this recommended slot, but I know some people use this every single day, so that's not going to be bloatware to them. You'll also see apps in here like Calculator and Calendar, which yes, they are recommended to be easily removed with Kanta, but a lot of people use these every single day. So make sure you're going through this list and only checking the apps that you actually want to remove. Then when you're ready, tap on that floating trash can icon and you'll see those appear in the deleted tab instead. For anyone doing things manually, I wanted to offer a list of apps and services that you are safe to remove. Just remember that similarly to the recommended list that I mentioned in this previous section, there are going to be apps in here that you may use on a daily basis. So don't go in blind or you could find yourself without a default keyboard to use or without a way to access your saved reminders. After a bit of research, I was able to collect this list of applications that are safe to remove on your Google Pixel 9 series phone. This includes YouTube, YouTube Music, Google TV, Gmail, Google Drive, Google Calendar, Google Wallet, Google Photos, Carrier Apps, and Android Auto. Now, if you want to take this a step further, you can also disable Android System Intelligence, Private Compute Services, Personal Safety, The Recorder, and Digital Wellbeing. This last list here can technically be removed and you can technically still use the phone after it, but you are going to see a number of apps and features break if you remove the Pixel Launcher or the Google app or the Android system web view. So I highly recommend that most people leave these apps intact and instead focus on removing these. If you're already familiar with removing unwanted system apps and you have your own list of services that you like to uninstall from Android, then please share those details down below. And as always, I would really appreciate it if you could give this video a like and subscribe to the channel too, if you haven't done so already. And I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you here in the next video.